Hello and welcome. Tonight I'm doing a little bit of a review of this 30 watt LED Parkhand style light. This is something that you can use with DMX panels to create sort of intelligent lighting scenes and do creative lighting and studio lighting, event lighting, all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, I bought these because they were incredibly cheap. They are rated apparently at 30 watts and um, so this video is just basically going to say what I've got. So the lights themselves are incredibly light. They are a lot smaller than other lights that I've seen. They appear to only have a central chip in the middle uh, as opposed to the uh, you know a large array of 31 watt LEDs or, or anything like that. You've got your normal four, um, four number control panel uh, LED, LCD. Uh, at the back and then your DMX in, DMX out. The power cord is uh, just hardwired in. You choose which style fitting you want when you buy the thing so you can't daisy chain the power which is probably a good thing because I wouldn't really trust anything like this to have a, a, a um, sequentially increasing amount of current going through them. But the very first thing that I did when I bought this was I uh, took it out of the box and plugged it in. I could immediately tell that it was not 30 watts or anywhere or, or anywhere even close. What I have here is a rather dirty extension cord plugged into a power meter. This thing here has, is currently set to watts and if I plug my LED light into that um, and put it onto DMX settings right so this is full brightness with all of the um, red, green, blue and also UV, all of those sort of individual chips light up to 100% as high as bright as they go um, and the fact that that doesn't overwhelm the camera with brightness sort of tells us of the, the order of magnitude that we're dealing with. So this here says 5 watts. Um, if I turn red down, um, so we've, we've now got a oh, sort of bluey coloured thing um, it reads, what does that say, it still reads 5 watts, it's just the efficiency has changed and things like that. So it's a maximum of 5 watts going through this thing. So already I can tell I'm dealing with something that is one sixth the rated um, output. And so this means it's pretty much useless. If I shine these lights, on this light onto the wall of many things behind me, and if I make it say just red, you can barely notice the difference. If I turn this on and off, again, practically nothing. The second problem with these lights, as if the first problem wasn't annoying enough, is that thus they are advertised as being smooth dimming. What that means is that when you change the brightness, when you, you know, change the power output, it should just smoothly fade down. That absolutely doesn't happen. And it's not even e it's not even either. It changes the brightness of one LED in uh, out of sync with the rest. So if we just put this on a little bit, we notice that we have uh, one of the colours. One of the colours lights up before the other colours and things like that. So um, that's what you get when you spend less than twenty dollars on a thirty watt LED. I guess the old maxim is true. If it's too good to be true, then it usually is. Thanks for watching.